Hi, I'm Sohail. Today I'm going to talk about structure and composition of ribosomes. The main points of the lesson are types of ribosomes, composition of ribosomes, and function of ribosomes. Ribosomes are called the protein factories of the cell. They translate the genetic information into polypeptide chain. Ribosomes are called the hero of the cell because the ribosomes, they are involved in protein synthesis. Protein is the structural component in the cell membrane. Protein is the structural component in nuclear membrane. Protein is present in the chromosomes. Protein is present in all the membranous organelles present in a cell. So that's why ribosomes, they are one of the most important organelle of the cell. Ribosomes are quite tiny, about 25 nanometer in size. A typical cell may contain up to 10 million ribosomes. Ribosomes are divided into two categories, that is prokaryotic ribosomes and eukaryotic ribosomes. Prokaryotic ribosomes, they are present in prokaryotes like bacteria and eukaryotic ribosomes, they are present in eukaryotic cell like in animal cell, plant cell and fungi. Ribosomes, they are not bounded by any membrane. All prokaryotes, they have 70 S ribosomes and eukaryotes, they have 80 S ribosomes. S is Swedberg unit. Ribosome consists of two subunits, small subunit that is 40 S and the large subunit is 60 S and S is sedimentation coefficient. This is the small subunit of ribosome and this is the large subunit of ribosome and here is messenger RNA. mRNA is attached to small subunit of ribosome during protein synthesis. Prokaryotic ribosome which is 70 S that is made up of two subunits. Small subunit is 30 S and the large subunit is 50 S. S stands for Swedberg a unit used to measure how fast molecules they move in centrifuge. Values for the individual subunits do not add up to the value for the whole ribosome. In prokaryotic ribosome, the small subunit that is 30 S and the large subunit is 50 S, but the complete ribosome that is 70 S. In eukaryotic ribosome, the small subunit is 40S and the larger subunit is 60S and the complete ribosome is 80S. What is the composition and distribution of ribosomes? Ribosomes, they are made up of protein and ribosomal RNA. Ribosomes, they are distributed in the cytosol, they are attached to endoplasmic reticulum. Ribosomes are also attached to the nuclear membrane. Ribosomes, they are assembled inside the nucleus in this structure which is called nucleolus. In case of mitochondria and chloroplasts, they have their own ribosomes. Ribosomes, they are synthesized inside the nucleus in this structure which is called nucleolus. Inside the nucleolus, smaller and larger subunits of ribosomes are synthesized. Later on, they are transferred from nucleus to cytoplasm through nuclear pores. And in cytoplasm, ribosomes, they attach with mRNA molecule. They read the genetic information which is present in mRNA molecule in the form of codons and they translate that information into a polypeptide chain. All living cells, they contain ribosomes. That's why the ribosomes are considered as universal structures. Ribosomes are composed of RNA and protein. As we know, there are three types of RNA, that is ribosomal RNA, messenger RNA, and transfer RNA. RNA which is present in ribosome, that is called ribosomal RNA. And the percentage of ribosomal RNA is 60, and the percentage of protein is 40. But this protein which is present in the smaller and larger subunits of ribosomes, that protein is not synthesized inside the nucleus. So where this protein is synthesized? That protein is synthesized in cytoplasm. So this is the nuclear membrane. This is outer nuclear membrane and this one is inner nuclear membrane. Outer nuclear membrane that is continuous with endoplasmic reticulum. This and is the nuclear pore that is bracelet shaped complex structure which contains 30 different types of proteins. 
So ribosomal protein that is synthesized in cytoplasm but this protein is actively transported from cytoplasm to nucleoplasm where it is used in the synthesis of ribosomes. This protein contains NLS, nuclear localization signal. It is a sequence of amino acids and then there is a structure which is present in cytoplasm which is called importins. This importance combines with NLS to form a cargo complex and that cargo complex is captured by nuclear pore machinery and the protein is transferred from cytoplasm to nucleoplasm where ribosomal protein is used in the synthesis of ribosomal subunits. So this is a ribosome. A ribosome consists of two subunits, small subunit and large subunit small subunit that is attached with this mRNA molecule and that reads the genetic information which is present in mRNA in the form of codon and translate that information into a sequence of polypeptide chain. So in this polypeptide chain number of amino acids, type of amino acids and sequence of amino acid that is determined by the codons of mRNA. Ribosomes they exist in two states that is free ribosomes and membrane bound ribosomes. Free ribosomes they are directly present here in the cytosol and membrane bound ribosomes they are attached to endoplasmic reticulum as well as nuclear membrane. Free ribosomes they are freely present in the cytoplasm. Free ribosomes they are primarily involved in the synthesis of protein and that protein is used inside the cell. So this is a eukaryotic cell and ribosomes they are directly present here in the cytoplasm. These ribosomes are involved in the synthesis of protein which are used here inside the cell. Second type of ribosomes which are known as membrane bound ribosomes and membrane bound ribosomes as we know they are attached to endoplasmic reticulum as well as they are also attached to the nuclear membrane. So this is the nuclear membrane where the ribosomes are attached and this is rough endoplasmic reticulum where the ribosomes are attached. Ribosomes which are attached to endoplasmic reticulum, these ribosomes are involved in the synthesis of protein and that protein is used as a structural component of cell membranes. In the cytoplasm as we can see this is the small subunit and this is large subunit. So small subunit that binds with mRNA molecule and later on the larger subunit that binds with the small subunit to form a ribosome. Now this ribosome it reads the genetic information present here in this mRNA molecule. That and genetic that information is translated into a sequence of amino acids in this polypeptide chain. So when many ribosomes are attached with a single mRNA molecule that structure is called polysome. Ribosomes contain RNA which is called ribosomal RNA and this ribosomal RNA that serves as an enzyme that is called ribozymes enzyme during protein synthesis. The protein which is synthesized by the ribosomes that is used as a structural component within a cell that might be exported from the cell. In that case polysome is attached with endoplasmic reticulum. Endocrine glands they secrete hormones and hormones are proteinic in composition. So the cells of endocrine glands where the ribosomes are attached with endoplasmic reticulum they are involved in the synthesis of protein which functions as hormones. In case of digestive glands they secrete enzymes and we know that all the enzymes are proteins but all proteins are not enzymes. So in this case polysomes they are also attached to endoplasmic reticulum and they are involved in the synthesis of protein which functions as digestive enzymes. Protein synthesis that consists of two processes, one is called transcription and second is known as translation. So what is transcription? Transcription it is a synthesis of mRNA molecule from DNA. So it is the flow of genetic information from DNA to mRNA. So this is the DNA strand from DNA mRNA is synthesized that is called transcription. <coughs> Translation it is a synthesis of protein from messenger RNA. Ribosomes which are present in mitochondria and chloroplasts they are involved in the synthesis of protein as well. 
what is central dogma central dogma it is the flow of genetic information from dna to dna which is called replication that takes place in the nucleus it is the flow of genetic information from dna to mrna that is called transcription that also takes place in the nucleus then this messenger rna it moves from nucleus to cytoplasm through the nuclear pore where ribosomes they attach to messenger rna and they use the genetic information of this mrna to synthesize protein so this synthesis of protein from messenger rna that is called translation so translation transcription replication that is collectively known as central dogma what is the rate of protein synthesis a single ribosome in a eukaryotic cell that can add two amino acids to protein chain in every second but in case of prokaryotes ribosomes they can work faster and they can add 20 amino acids in every second mitochondria and chloroplasts they are present in eukaryotic cell and inside the mitochondria and chloroplasts prokaryotic ribosomes are present that similarities between prokaryotic and eukaryotic ribosomes ribosomes they are involved in decoding the genetic information present in mrna into a sequence of amino acids in polypeptide chain they are present in cytoplasm and they are made up of small subunits and large subunits they are made up of rna and protein rna which is present in ribosomes that is called ribosomal rna differences between prokaryotic ribosomes and eukaryotic ribosomes as we know that prokaryotic ribosomes they are comparatively small in size as compared to eukaryotic ribosomes Prokaryotic ribosomes they are present in bacteria but eukaryotic ribosomes they are present in animals plants and fungi mass of prokaryotic ribosomes that is 27000 kilodalton and the mass of eukaryotic ribosome is 42000 kilodalton sedimentation coefficient is here 70s in eukaryotic ribosome that is 80s diameter of prokaryotic ribosome is 200 angstrom and in a eukaryotic ribosome that is 250 to 300 angstrom subunits in prokaryotic ribosomes are 30 s and 50 s and in eukaryotic ribosome that is 40 s and 60 s they are present in cytoplasm they are present in cytoplasm but they are synthesized inside the nucleus in nucleolus so this is a plant cell in plant cell this is nucleolus that is darkly stained structure present inside the nucleus where small and large subunits of ribosomes are assembled and then these small and large subunits they are transferred from nucleus to cytoplasm through the pores present in nuclear membrane which are called nuclear pores in cytoplasm these ribosomes they exist in free state or may be attached to endoplasmic reticulum as well as in plant cell mitochondria and chloroplasts they have their own ribosomes these are prokaryotic ribosomes which are present in mitochondria and chloroplasts but here in cytoplasm eukaryotic ribosomes are present when protein is not synthesized then the small and large subunit they detach and they are present in cytoplasm in the form of subunits to sum up there are two types of ribosomes that is prokaryotic ribosomes and eukaryotic ribosomes prokaryotic ribosomes they are 70 s and eukaryotic ribosomes are 80 s prokaryotic ribosomes they are directly present in cytoplasm but eukaryotic ribosomes they exist in two form in free state as well as in attached form but they are synthesized inside the nucleus in nucleolus composition of ribosomes is concerned they are composed of ribosomal rna and protein and the central dogma that is the flow of genetic information from dna to dna which is called replication it is the flow of genetic information from dna to mrna which is called transcription and it is the flow of genetic information from mrna to protein that is called translation so replication transcription and translation they are collectively known as central dogma let's watch this slideshow <laughs>